Now, your Super Doppler 10 forecast from meteorologist Jeremy Wheeler. All right, let's have a look at the uh, latest on the satellite radar map. We've got uh, a cold front, a strong cold front, which moved through late in the day yesterday. We didn't really notice the temperature drop till the evening because it really didn't start dropping until uh, the early evening hours. And then now it, we just got that cold air in place. Uh, cold for this time of year anyway. There's some lake effects north of the north. We're too dry down here to get that and high pressures building in. So the high temperature today going to be in the upper 40s. That's it. It's been a while since we've had numbers like these. So it's, it's a good thing is short-lived. Uh, just one day, because look at the mildness that's off to the west of us. Tomorrow we start warming up a little bit, upper 50s, not too bad, a little cool this time of year. And then we're going to be in the upper 60s. This is nice, going into Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, we'll have some mild temps and dry air, looking good going into the weekend. So the humidity levels, they're down, and they stay down all the way through uh, Friday. They go up a little bit Saturday, Sunday, but I mean, it's still in a pleasant, comfortable category. It doesn't go back up to muggy like it was last week when we had all that rain, so... Uh, we're going to be doing a lot better. Now, the temperatures and the wind chills. This is one thing. 40 degrees, What it, the temperature is in Newport News, but it feels like 32. 42 right now in Norfolk feels like 35. We're in the low 40s here in downtown Portsmouth. 42 in Virginia Beach, and then it feels like the 30s. So a lot of us feeling like the 30s, but Hampton feels like 28. The temperature is 39. So, you know, bundle up heading out. It's not going to warm up that much today. So, you know, I usually say dress in layers. Today, just dress for cold hair. Super Doppler 10 radar is nice and dry right now. We're going to be dry through the day. Future track, this is an easy one. We've got a lot of sunshine between now and noon. The winds out of the north northwest, 10 to 20 miles an hour, some of the gusts at 25. So that wind keeps the temperature down, and so we get a lot of sunshine this afternoon, but again, chilly. Now, we go into 6 o'clock. The winds start calming down, so that's good news for the evening commute, but overnight, the winds go to very light or calm. That's going to allow the temperatures to drop even more tomorrow morning. So near 30 inland tomorrow morning and near the shore, closer to the upper 30s. So get ready for that. It's going to be a colder morning tomorrow, but at least there's less wind. It's kind of a trade-off. Uh, wind chills won't be much of a factor. Tomorrow through the day, we'll have a light south wind and lots of sunshine. So temperatures will warm up a little bit. We'll get into the uh, upper 50s tomorrow. All right, so today, though, upper 40s, Virginia Beach, Norfolk, Portsmouth, Suffolk, near 50 in Chesapeake, Currituck. 49 Kilova Hills, dry, chilly, and breezy. You got a northerly breeze. 46 in Melpha and Hampton, 47 in Gloucester, 49 in Newport News, and 50 degrees in Williamsburg. Tonight, this is what I'm talking about. Inland, near 30, near the shore, upper 30s to near 40, clear skies and cold. You got a light north wind, so maybe right near the shore, maybe a little milder. Now, I'm not even going to track Iota here. Uh, it's basically a rainmaker now. But historic flooding has been happening down here. It'll be similar. To, some of the damage will be similar to Puerto Rico a couple years ago when Maria and Irma hit. Uh, it's that type of damage down there. It's going to be historic. We'll get more reports, though, because right now the infrastructure is, uh, is so damaged that uh, it'll take a while to get all the reports out of there. So anyway, that stays down there. Around here, lots of sunshine next few days. High temps in the 50s Thursday, 60s Friday and Saturday, and Sunday. And then our next chance of rain, a few showers on Monday. Madison? Thanks, Jeremy. Great news for drivers that might be traveling to Newport News or Isle of Wight County. That lift that we were tracking at the James River Bridge has cleared and everything is moving again. On Route 17 North and South, both sides of the Monitor Merrimack continue to look okay. Same thing for the HRBT and across the peninsula in 64 East and West. And not watching any issues either. We do have a traffic shift in York County. I'm going to have more on that in about 10 minutes. Right now, our time is 5.53. Stay with us. We'll see you after the break. Now, your Super Doppler 10 forecast from meteorologist Jeremy Wheeler. Forecast today is going to be dry, chilly, and breezy. Temperature is only going to top off in the upper 40s this afternoon to near 50 degrees. That's it. You got a north breeze, sometimes gusting up to about 25 miles an hour. Now, tomorrow we get a lot of sunshine. We'll start off cold. We'll end a little milder, 56. 
But things get a lot better into the weekend. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, highs in the 60s, and we'll have plenty of sunshine.